So hello, everyone. I'm here with Laura Tomlin today, and she is from the Painted Cup. Um, Laura, thank you for joining us today. Happy to be here. Thank you, Celeste. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I just want to start off by, I know right before uh, we have to on the Zoom, we were chatting about how kind of random it was that we met initially. And mm -hmm. uh, now, so to give all of you a little background, Laura's sister is a past client of mine who unfortunately no longer lives in New York, but she had a, a good time while she was here. And right. uh, Laura and I met when she was coming to see one of the apartments their sister was looking at. And you shared with me your card um, about the painted pup. And, um, and now... I have, I go to clients' houses and in my own home even, and I have pictures of artwork you've done for all these pets and everything. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's my pleasure. Uh, yeah, because your little dog, Shiloh, I, yes. I painted Shiloh. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, I just remember my sister saying, oh, my, my sister paints dogs. You have a dog. And so then yeah. that, I gave you my card and that was the whole start. Uh Absolutely. Um, and, and still, like I have somebody who said to me the other day, oh, I want her contact information. So it's been great. And for all of you out there, we're going to share some of uh, Laura's artwork. We're going to share, um, you know, some uh, it'll at the end of the interview, we'll share some some pictures. I'll share Shiloh's picture. Um, and <laughs> do you paint guinea pigs? I'm putting you on the spot with I, I, yes, I can. I have, I have never, I have never done it, but I, I'm pretty okay. confident. I'm confident I can. I would, I would think so. Um, we recently got two guinea pigs as an addition to our family. Nice. Um, I don't have enough to do. So, uh, so yeah, they're probably going to be next on the list for the kids. Um, hey. but, yeah. All right. Tell me, um, how like how did you first discover that you love to draw and you had this amazing talent? Uh, well, it all started at when I was a little kid, and um, I I had some really good art teachers in school. So, and my parents always encouraged uh, us to be creative. So, uh, my mother was a kind of a hobbyist painter, and she would she had her oil paints and stuff around. I, I didn't necessarily start doing that when I was a child, but it was that thing of, you know, the art teacher in school would draw a scribble uh, on, a, yeah. on a piece of paper and then say, turn it into something. And then you would have <laughs> to just use your creativity to, you know, turn it into a chicken or like so something in your imagination. Yeah. So I, I feel like I always, I always had an interest. Um, and, uh, but it was very fortunate that the educators that I had uh, were good, you know, and, and that's why sometimes I feel a little sorry when I hear that, you know, art, art programs and schools are being cut and things like that. So, um, yeah. yeah, but if you've got a kid who has this kind of a interest, you know, I think you can find, you know, private little schools to go to or something, yeah. but always Absolutely. encourage it, always encourage it. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think it's sad when you hear about what is kind of considered like maybe an extracurricular activity, you know, yeah. like being cut because I think what, what gets missed in the big equation, you may be able to, um, to chime in if you feel like this would have been the case, but like, it's not, um, like to me, and I, I come from a family of people who do, um, you know, a lot of different types of art as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but more kind of like, um, abstract, uh, like modern type work. And, mm -hmm. And if there's an aspect of creativity in the brain when you're a child also that's like, that's developing. And yeah. if you have this ability to explore that creativity in one area, such as art, in mm -hmm. my mind, and I, I'm not a scientist, but in my mind, you know, yeah. just it, it potentially helps to give you the ability to be creative and expand that into every other aspect. Of well, yeah. And it helps if you're a shy person and you can yeah. do something and then people want to know you because of your abilities. And I mean, yeah. it can really, it can be uh, just, it's really good in general. And I'm, it's yeah, but too. It's, it's very, like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's expression. Um, I mean, one yeah. of them, 
this brings me back, but in like 99 to 2001, when I lived in London, I worked at an arts charity there. And mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff they did was arts therapy. And yeah. that really stuck with me about, you know, with, with kids and with older children to uh -huh. try to help them, you know, get, get their feelings and their expressions and stuff out in a healthy way. So I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm 100% behind you. We should not, uh, not to make this political, but we should not cut out no. classes. <laughs> no, our arts are, arts are extremely yeah. important. Uh, arts and music and, you know, writing and all of that stuff. It's very, yeah. it's a great confidence builder and it's yeah. a great way, a, a great therapy too. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but that, I mean, I just started, you know, just messing around in school and, mm -hmm. um, you know, not only drawing, but also uh, I remember in junior high, I went to the community center and uh, took a pottery class. And, mm -hmm. you know, you know, my, my parents were always, I think, just trying to get us out of the house. And so, um, <laughs> you know, but we did like tap dancing and guitar yeah. lessons. But, I mean, just like all of these things where it's just see what see what sticks, you know. Um, I, I get it. That's pretty much what I'm doing these days. Too, <laughs> <with> the <kids. laughs> so. well, you've got your hands full with twins. Yes, but, for um, sure. <laughs> yeah, but, but then uh, after, you know, in high school, I was still, you know, doing a lot of artwork in high school mm -hmm. and building a portfolio that I could use to try to get into college in an art mm -hmm. program. And so I did that. I went to undergraduate school uh, at James Madison University, which is in Virginia. And okay. then I and then I, I got a BFA there and then jumped right into grad school because honestly, I really didn't know what else to do. <laughs> so I, so then but that brought me to New York. So then I, I ended up going to Pratt in Brooklyn okay. and um, and amazing studied print. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's super amazing. And yeah. um, and I studied printmaking. So I was uh, had a concentration in etching. Um, okay. Yeah. And and I continued to do that um, for years, but I haven't done it in a long time. But uh, I still have a, a little press here in the attic. And um, wow. If I so choose, I could do it. But it's at this point, it's sort of like, eh, you know, so yeah. now I'm concentrating on just um, drawing and also yeah. the, um, pet portraits. Yeah. Well, they make amazing gifts for yourself and for clients. So to any of the brokers out there um, potentially watching this, if you need a closing gift, if you need a holiday gift or something coming up, like you're always the first person that pops into my mind. Um, oh, well, that's great. And you recently, you started expanding to people then too. Well, um, yeah, I, actually yeah. it's sort of backwards. I, I actually, <laughs> I actually started um, doing portraiture um, it, as illustration for magazines. That was sort of, I was a free, I'm a freelance illustrator still, and I still do, okay. uh, I still do portraits in magazines. Um, but, uh, when that industry started to become less and less, I started to, uh, sort of pivot into pet portraits. And at the time I had a dog. Um, and so I painted his portrait that my brother had a dog. I was just sort of fooling around to see if yeah. I liked doing it. And then I found out I loved doing it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but I, I, I still do commissions of people, but mm -hmm. I, Mo I find mostly I'm doing um, the miniature dog paintings and, and um, yeah, so that's one in important yeah. uh, detail is that they're all fairly small. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it could be, it can't, it could be a big dog in reality, but I'm going to yeah. shrink it down to like, yeah. be, you know, about four inches tall. <laughs> well, with the level of detail that you put into it, I went I went to dinner at um, a friend's house last Friday, and uh -huh. um, and he was showing me, you know, the picture that you did of their cat, and um, and he was like, the detail on this with you know her fur and the shadowing, it's just it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, and and you've also done houses, you yes. did a, a closing gift for me for a townhouse that we sold the front of it which was yeah. amazing yep so, so lots of um lots of options here guys um and uh so i think i was going to ask you about what types of art you did that we might not be aware of i wasn't aware of the etching so that's yes. um from your, from your past yeah that's yeah that's back in the archives but yeah. lately lately just for fun mm -hmm. i have been getting into um landscape painting um on site so like awesome. going 
Uh, yeah. So, um, it, I live close to a park. I live here in New Jersey. Sorry, people. I'm in New Jersey, <laughs> but I was in New York. I'm just across the river. Jersey, but, um, Jersey roads, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So there's a beautiful park nearby, um, mm -hmm. that I actually also volunteer in. And, um, I, a friend, friends of, of mine and I just get together and take chairs out there in the park and with our drawing boards or our watercolors yeah. or whatever. And we just paint, you know, you know, plein air landscapes. And it, they're not, I mean, I love doing them. I, I haven't shown them anywhere. Okay. <laughs> it's, I mean, I can. I mean, I, I could. <laughs> you, well, let me, all right, I'm going to turn around my camera. Just Okay, second. sure. Okay, so here we are. Right. Awesome. We're getting a tour. Yes. Okay, so here's, I mean, but they're very loose. They're not, it's not um, the same as oh, my. Uh, they're not and quite that's and that's yeah. watercolor. Yeah. And here's okay. one sort of trees. Um, yeah, we recently had an event in the park. Oh, there's a big Don Redwood. Um, yeah, but we had an event in the park for, um, whoop. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, uh, they're okay. They're not, I mean, you know, it's I, just for, I it's for fun. It's I just could that's a very, that, that's a really cool one. That tree that has a this lot of personality. Yeah. Yeah. This is a big pin oak that's in the park. Um, yeah. So anyway, but that's just sort of like, um, you know, just sort of goofing around and more, more about just trying to learn to do something new, you know, and keep yeah. my, br keep my brain fresh. <laughs> Well, for, I mean, for you, that's goofing around, like, yeah. for other people, I mean, my, like, I, you know, my daughter asked me to draw something the other day, and it was a stick man, and she was oh. like, mommy, it, mommy, and I said, that's mommy's version of a person. So yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, as long as you're expressing yourself, I think yeah. it's fine. You know, yeah. that's where art, there, it, nothing is, nothing is incorrect when you're making art. It's all yeah. just your expression. So Very I say, well said. continue, continue, <laughs> Celeste. You can do it. Awesome. Yeah. And continue to encourage my kids. Um, uh, yes. So, and I know, uh, so talking about like your, your artwork and, um, and kind of holiday gifts, since I know that's upon us at this point mm -hmm. too. Right. Um, I just wanted to mention that Laura also does gift certificates. So if you want to offer, um, like one of my clients, she just sent me a picture of it the other day. You did, um, you did a portrait of her parents. I had given her the gift certificate so she could decide which, what picture she wanted to select. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes as a broker, I'll stalk somebody's social media to try to pull a picture that seems like it has significance to them. But when that becomes too challenging, a gift certificate is a great way to go. Um, yeah. So. And, they ne and they never expire. So yeah. it could, it, you know, be years and I'd be like, oh, yes, I remember. Absolutely. And you, and um, also just because I know we, we have a, is with Sotheby's, we have a huge connection all over um, the country. Anybody who's outside of New York or New Jersey, this is, this is also a great option. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. And, um, mm -hmm. and one question I wanted to ask you about your time spent in New York. Yes. What would you say your favorite spot in say all of New York City is? You know, that's tough. It, it kind of depends on what you're in the mood for. I, I, all, my, I would say I had very fond memories of my final apartment in Bay Ridge because okay. um, I, I finally could afford a, a co-op apartment. So I did. <laughs> and the, the best thing about it, in my opinion, was that I was very close to the Greenway that mm -hmm. would go along the water. And I had a bicycle, so yeah. I would I would ride down to that area, go under the Verrazano Bridge, go mm -hmm. all the way to Coney Island. Oh wow! And, yeah, I mean, it took probably like half an hour. Like it's really not that bad, yeah. but um, a beautiful ride. And and I'm crazy enough that I would always it would be like a personal challenge to do it on New Year's Day. And <laughs> I mean it. And, and, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm that kind of person. So I, I would get on my bike and go out there and it could be like windy and freezing, but it was like, I did it. And, yeah. and then I would ride back home. Um, but it's, uh, and it was a great neighborhood. There was like a real mix of, um, 
you know, Italians and then also Middle Easterns uh, towards the end of when I was there, which was around 2006. Um, <laughs> the other place I really liked living was Sunset Park.